hello everyone so today we are going to make our behavior tree to use sub behavior trees that means uh, nested ai behavior trees so instead of having every all the behaviors in in a single tree here i have created separate behavior trees for example this is attack sequence for that i have created a separate behavior tree which is this and then for search last in location this is that behavior which is also in another separate tree behavior tree so you can see all those behavior trees here and all of them are used inside this main pt and pc behavior tree so this is the main behavior tree but we have used nested trees so that we can this becomes more manageable and easier to understand what happens in each branch rather than having everything inside the inside one behavior tree so this is what we are going to do and yeah let's see how to do that today and also we are going to slightly modify the search behavior as well here as you can see now the enemy has seen me and coming to search that last in location and not just that if I if he don't see me there he just look around a couple times and see if he can find the enemy if not he just wait a little bit a little more and put back the sword and return to his duties so shortly he should put back the sword yeah like that and returns so yeah this is these are the things we are going to work on today and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the veteran page once you become a member you can download anything without any limit so feel free to check it out and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing so you can watch all other episodes as well in my channel i leave the link to the full playlist in the description so yeah let's get back to today's tutorial okay so first let's open our existing behavior tree and here as i can see we can have more multiple different subtrees for example this one this is searching last seen location and this is uh, searching last noise location and this is return to duty or basically duty and this part is um, basically combat okay let's start with the biggest one which is attacking so let me copy this that's how you make subtrees copy the part that you want to turn it into a subtree and then go to artificial intelligence behavior tree let's call it pt attack okay now here is the node and paste control v paste connect it here okay now here you can you can delete this basically and run behavior and here select pt attack you can see the uh, condition as well here and now as you can see it's much simpler but if I if you want let's say if I close this and if I double click here the subtree opens like this but it becomes more manageable than having everything in one single tree even though it might be a bit easier to debug when we have everything in one single tree but as you want to implement complicated behaviors it might be easier to have uh, something like this subtrees rather than having everything in uh, one place okay same as this now let me copy this and 
and create a new subtree here I'm gonna do something different first I'm gonna call it pt search last same location and paste it uh, well no not really we don't really need to do anything differently just delete this run behavior search last scene location so what I was actually thinking of doing is let's say if I want to instead of searching once if I want to search around the location maybe like three times like search three points around this location that we saw the enemy last time we can add a loop here like this and number of loops yeah three but here we have a problem because at the end we clear the last scene location so once we clear it even though we have a loop here this will only run once because once last scene location is cleared out this part will not be executed anymore so uh, let's modify this a little bit inside the search so here I'm I'm giving this move to and use the last scene location but here let's add a new task blueprint base I'll call it search around location and override receive execute AI here I'll add a new variable search location and it should be a blackboard key selector make it public so we can set it up from outside then get value as vector okay now get random reachable lock a uh, random reachable point in radius and let's set the radius to something like 2000 or maybe 1000 we can change this as needed and then remove to give the destination and after that on success finish it finish execute well I'll finish this even if this fails because as long as the character shows some movement around that area that's enough for now okay now here search last scene location so I'll make the character move to the exact location first anyway then search around location now here we can add a loop let's say only two times and as the search location I'll give last scene location so the character will search around that location right maybe you wait or delay let's say two seconds finish point and finish okay let's test this Okay, character saw us. Now let's hide. It should go there and searching around. Search around. No. Now he should return. Why 
why is he not returning? Oh yeah, he's still. He does. Okay. So, I think I've noticed something here. After moving, maybe we should make the character wait. Maybe not 5 seconds. Like 3 seconds. Should make things better. Okay, but that, now we are going outside the focus of today's uh, video. Actually, we only need to. I only noted, uh, wanted to show you how to make this simplified. And for the due to asset, I can have a subtree. And for this search location as well, I can have a subtree, but in the same way, just like we did for these two. And I'll do that without the recording. All right, now here is the final behavior tree. You can see the search last in location sub behavior tree and search noise sub behavior tree and duty behavior tree and their type behavior tree. So yeah, this looks much better and easier to understand. And if you want to look into detail, you can double click and go inside each tree. So yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in this episode. Thanks for watching. So maybe in the next episode, I can work on other weapon types. But if you have something else in your mind, feel free to let me know in the comments. As always, updated project files will be available for the download. In the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.